Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day. This video is part six of my music theory for guitarists video series. And in this video, we will finally tackle possibly the most awaited topic of the series, which is modes and scales. If you haven't seen the previous parts, I highly recommend that you go check those out first before continuing with this video so that you are up to speed. Click on the card above to go to that playlist. If you're new here, I invite you to hit that subscription button and ring that notification bell. I regularly upload content centering around the guitar and music from lessons to gear demos to tour vlogs and video performances. The concept of modes boggles the minds not only of guitar players, but countless musicians, improvisers, songwriters, and composers as well. Now to get a firm grasp of the concept of modes, we have to take a brief look into its history, when it was first used, and how it was first used, and how the concept modes has developed all throughout the time periods up until modern times. Modes were first used in really early music, in the medieval and pre-Renaissance times, most notably in the sacred hymns of the monks as well as Gregorian chants. Now during that time, there was only one set of notes and one scale, which is the C major scale. Now here are the notes of the C major scale in one octave, and I have added some notes past the higher octave and some notes before the first octave. The earliest concept of a mode is that it is a range of notes. Composers and musicians at the time discovered that if you take the notes of the C major scale and start and end it on any note other than C, you get a range of notes that evoke specific sounds and moods. And it was through these modes that they were able to write music that would fit uh, whatever occasion the music is written for. A common mode at the time was to take the C major scale notes, start it on D, and end on A. And that was the Dorian mode. Another popular mode was started on the E note up to the B and that was your Phrygian. Another early mode is the Mixolydian, which starts on G and ends on the second octave D. Now the starting note of each mode is called the finalis, or in modern terms, you can think of this as the tonal center or your root. So for Dorian, the finalis is D, for Phrygian, the finalis is E, and for Mixolydian, the finalis is G. So even though you're using the notes of the C major scale, you're treating the finalis of the mode as your root note or your tonal center. And with this in mind, you can also think of a mode as different versions of the same scale. Now before we move on, I want you to keep the following things in mind. Each mode yields and evokes a specific sound or mood, and that the finalis or tonal center is considered as the root of the mode even though you are using the notes of the parent scale. Now moving past the era of early music, the concept of modes has evolved so that we now have a mode for each scale degree of the major scale and each mode is named as follows the mode based on the first degree is called ionian the second degree is called dorian third degree is called phrygian fourth degree is called lydian fifth degree is mixolydian sixth degree is aeolian and finally the seventh degree is locrian you can also consider Ionian as your major scale. And looking back to part two of this series where we talked about key signatures and relative majors and minors, in that video, we have defined that the sixth degree of the major scale is the relative minor scale. So in this case, the sixth degree is the Aeolian mode. And we can think of that as our natural minor scale. Now let's apply the seven modes to the notes of the C major scale. For Ionian, we start on C, go through the notes of the C major scale, and end on C. So if you play the notes of the C major scale, 
and treat the C note as your home base or root or tonal center or finalis, <laughs> so many names, um, then that will yield the Ionian sound. For Dorian, we're going to take the same set of notes, but we are going to treat D as our root. So we start on D, go through E, F, G, A, B, C, and then end on D. So that is your Dorian scale. Let's take Phrygian. Phrygian starts on the third degree, which is E, and it will go up from E to E. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E and treat E as your root and that will yield the Phrygian sound. Next is Lydian. We'll start on the fourth degree. So one, two, three, four. Start on F, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Those are the notes of your Lydian mode. Mixolydian starts on the fifth degree. Start on G, end on G. Those are the G Mixolydian notes. Aeolian, the sixth mode, starts on the sixth degree of the scale, which is A. So you go from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, with A as your root, that is your A Aeolian mode. And finally, we have Locrian, which starts on the seventh degree, B. So B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Those are the notes of B Locrian. Now let's apply the modes to the other key signatures that we have laid out in part two of this series. So let's pick a sharp key. Let's say A major. So the notes of A major is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. So if you use this same set of notes, start on A, end on A, with A as your root, then that is A Ionian. If you start on B and end on B and treat B as your root using the notes of the A major scale, then that is your B Dorian. Now if you treat C sharp as your root and we use the notes of the A major scale, that will give you C-sharp Phrygian. Then using the same approach, we will also get the notes of D Lydian, E Mixolydian, F-sharp Aeolian, and G-sharp Locrian. Now let's pick out a flat key, let's say G-flat major. So the notes of G-flat major are G-flat, A-flat, B-flat, C-flat, D-flat, E-flat, and F. Now, before you react violently saying that, oh, there's no such thing as the C-flat note, click on the card above to go watch my E-sharp equals F, and E-sharp is not equal to F video for the full explanation. So if we take the notes of the G-flat major scale and treat G-flat as our root, that will give you G-flat Ionian. If we take the same set of notes and treat A-flat as our root, that will give you A-flat Dorian, and which in turn will also give you B-flat Phrygian, C-flat Lydian, D-flat Mixolydian, E-flat Aeolian, and F Locrian. Now in modern times, the concept of modes has evolved even further uh, to the point where we have started to think of each mode as its own separate scale. And this is best illustrated when we start thinking in terms of parallel modes. We get parallel modes when we build each of the seven modes on the same root note. To illustrate this, I will build each of the seven modes treating the note C as the root for each mode. So C Ionian, is your C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now to get the notes of C Dorian, we have to find the key signature in which the C is your second note. So let's see, second note. Okay, there it is, C. So the notes of B flat major are the notes of C Dorian. So B flat, E flat. So C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. For C Phrygian, we need the key where C is your third degree. So let's see, three, there it is. So C Phrygian uses the notes of the A flat major scale. So we have A flat, B flat, D flat, and E flat. So C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat, E flat. For C Lydian, we need the C to be the fourth degree. Fourth degree, so it's not in the flat keys. Let's check the sharp keys. Okay, there it is. So C is the fourth degree of G major. So we only have one sharp, which is F sharp. So C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, E. Mixolydian, C has to be the fifth note. 
So one to five, not in the sharp keys. Five. Okay, C is the fifth note of F major, in which we only have the B flat. So C mixolydian will be C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. Okay, Aeolian C has to be the sixth degree. So six, okay, there it is, E flat major. So the notes of E flat major are used in C Aeolian, which we have E flat, A flat, and B flat. Okay, so C Aeolian has C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. And finally, Locrian, C needs to be the seventh. C is the seventh degree of D flat major. So we have D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat, and B flat. So C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat. So now we have laid out all the notes of the modes with C as our root. Okay, I must admit that that process was very tedious. So I'm going to show you another way to find the notes of each mode in any key by using the scale degree formulas and intervals. So let's write out the intervals for Ionian, our major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to compare the notes of each mode against the notes of the Ionian mode and take note of what the differences are. Comparing Dorian to Ionian, the first degree is the same, the second degree is the same. Now the third degree, we have an E flat in Dorian versus an E in Ionian. So that makes Dorian have a flat three. And then fourth is the same, the fifth are the same, the sixth are the same. And finally, on the seventh, we have a B flat in Dorian versus the B in Ionian and that gives us a flat seven for Dorian. And using the same process, we will repeat it for the other modes. Okay, so for Phrygian, we have one D flat, so that is a flat two. E flat, that is a flat three. The fourth are the same, fifth are the same. So the sixth, we have an A flat versus an A. Phrygian has a flat six, and it still has the same flat seven. Lydian, the ones are the same, the twos are the same, the threes are the same. Now in the fourth degree, that's where we encounter a difference. We have an F sharp in C Lydian versus an F natural in C Ionian. So that will give us a sharp four in Lydian. The fifth is the same, sixth the same, seventh the same. Okay, mix a Lydian. One, two, three, four, five, and six. They're all the same as the Ionian. And we have a flat seven. Aeolian, so we have one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Finally, Locrian, we have one, flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven. Now let's apply this approach to another key, let's say E major. And uh, let's just see how much faster it is to figure out the notes for each mode. Okay, so E major or E Ionian has the following notes. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp. So E Dorian, we will have the one is the same, the two is the same. For Dorian, we have to flat the three. So if you flat G sharp, we will get just a natural G. The fourth is the same, A, fifth is the same, uh, sixth is the same, and finally we flat the seven, so D sharp flatted would be a D natural. Those are your E Dorian notes. Now for the sake of time, I am going to go into time-lapse mode, but feel free to pause this video and work out the rest of the modes uh, based on E, okay? So uh, work out E Phrygian, E Lydian, E Mixolydian, E Aeolian, and E Locrian then check your work uh, after the time lapse is done. So here we go. Okay, pencils up, check your work and see uh, if you got it right. Okay, so far we have talked about where modes came from, 
how they were first used and the development of their concept from the early music period up until modern times. I've also shown you the long way <laughs> and the quick way to find the notes for each mode in any key. So to round out this video, I will talk about the sound of each mode and how we can start applying them. In part five of the Music Theory for Guitarist series, I introduced you all to the harmonized scale. So I am going to use the Roman numerals that we used in that video and apply them to our modes. And beside each, I will write the corresponding mode. And let's also write in the respective scale degree formulas. Now our Roman numeral designation can be applied not only to our harmonized scale, but also to the modes as well. So we have a capital Roman numeral one for Ionian, which uh, indicates that Ionian is a type of major scale. Well, it is our parent scale. So it is our major scale, right? Small caps Roman numeral two indicates that the Dorian is a type of minor scale. And if we look closely, Dorian has the flatted third, which we learned in part four when we started building chords and triads, that when you flat the third, you change the tonality from major to minor. Small caps three indicates that Phrygian is a type of minor scale, sure enough, because there's a flat third as well. Big caps four indicates that Lydian is a type of major scale. Same goes for big caps five, Mixolydian, also a major scale. Small cap six, Aeolian, and as we've already defined, Aeolian is our natural minor scale. Finally, seventh diminished indicates that this is a diminished scale. So true enough, we have the one, we have the flat three, and we have the flat five. Then from here, we can add the modes to more generalized groups. In the major scale group, we will add the Ionian, the Lydian, and the Mixolydian. In the minor scale groups, we'll add Aeolian, Dorian, and Phrygian. And Lockerhead will be in its own group because it is the only diminished mode. In each group, we will assign a, a parent. Okay, so Ionian will be the parent of the major scale group and Aeolian will be the parent of the minor scale group. So in the major group, we have defined Ionian as the parent scale. So the defining difference between Lydian and Ionian is the sharp four. And then the defining difference between Mixolydian and Ionian is the flat seven. Now in the minor group, the defining difference between Aeolian, which is our parent minor scale, and Dorian is the natural sixth. And the difference between Aeolian and Phrygian is the flatted second. And of course, what makes Locrian different from all the rest is the presence of the flat five, the diminished interval. Grouping the modes into tonality groups means that you now have three scale options to play over any major or minor chord that you'll encounter. So let's say you're going to improvise over D major. You now have the option to use either D Ionian or D Lydian or D Mixolydian. Now let's flip it around and say you have to improvise over D minor. Then you have the options of D Aeolian, D Dorian, or D Phrygian. And if you encounter a diminished chord, let's say D diminished, you can play the Locrian mode over that. Now basic chord voicing allows you to get away with mixing and matching uh, these modes while you improvise. However, extended chord voicings actually help define what mode you need to play over it. So let's go into our seventh chords. So let's say we have D major seven. You can play either D Ionian or D Lydian over it, but not D Mixolydian because D major seven has a major seventh interval in it, which both Ionian and Lydian has. But Mixolydian has a flat seven or a dominant seven. So if you play D Mixolydian over D major seven chord, 
those two intervals will clash. Now, if you are going to play over a D dominant seven chord, which has the flat seven in it, then the logical choice is D mixolydian because in the major scale group, only mixolydian has the flat seven. Now let's take D minor seven. So over D minor seven, you can pretty much play any of the minor modes because all the intervals check out. So D minor seven has the one flat three, five and flat seven and aeolian has one flat three five flat seven same with phrygian and same with dorian now for d minor seven flat five the only logical choice is the locrian mode because you have the one the flat three the flat five and the flat seven now let's say you have to play over a d minor six chord so that narrows down your choices even further because a d minor six has a one a flat three and a six instead of the five. The only scale with a natural six is your Dorian mode. So that's the only choice because the other modes have a flat six in them. However, if we turn that chord into a D minor flat six or a D minor flat 13, then the choices would be either Aeolian or a Phrygian because they both have the flat six or flat 13 in them. Now let's pick out another chord uh, out of thin air. Let's say D major seven sharp 11. So D major seven sharp 11 is one, three, five, seven, and the sharp 11. Okay, so sharp 11 is also equivalent to sharp four. So the only logical choice is your Lydian mode. Now let's pick out one more. Let's say D minor seven flat nine. So D minor seven flat nine has the one, the flat three, the five, the flat seven, and a flat nine or which is also the same as a flat second. So the only logical mode to use would be the Phrygian mode, in, uh, D Phrygian, because it has the one, the flat three, the five, the flat seven, and the flat nine or flat second. Now that's a very cerebral way to use the modes. So to circle back to what I mentioned earlier in this video, we can also use each mode to evoke a specific sound or mood. Now back in part four, when we started building chords, we also talked about tonality and the mood that each chord type evokes. So we can also apply that to our modes. Now in general, the major tonality is bright, happy, and positive sounding. Whereas the minor tonality is dark, uh, sad, melancholic. And the diminished sound is uh, fairly dissonant and uh, unsettling. Now when that approach is applied to modes, we can actually define more specific moods and sounds. So Ionian being the parent major scale embodies everything that is major, bright, happy, positive. Now Lydian with its sharp four evokes a feeling of weightlessness, almost like you're floating or flying through the air. And that is a common characteristic of all music that is based on the Lydian mode. Now the Mixolydian mode with its flat seven is also known as the, the blues mode or the bluesy mode, uh, mainly because most blues songs use a dominant seven chord, which the Mixolydian perfectly fits over. Mixolydian also highlights the tritone tension between the major third and the flat seven. Aeolian, our natural minor scale, embodies everything there is about uh, the minor tonality, which is dark, moody, melancholic, uh, sad, mainly because of the presence of the flat third and the flat sixth. Now on the other side of the coin, we have our Dorian, which has the natural six in it. And personally, I think of the Dorian as the happy minor. So it's still sad and melancholic, but a little more positive sounding when compared to the Aeolian mode. Now the Phrygian mode shares the dark, sad, and moody nature of the Aeolian mode with an added sense of mystery that is lent to it by the flat second uh, interval. Now the flat second interval is a staple of a lot of traditional Middle Eastern and Moorish music. So every time I want to add a Middle Eastern or Moorish or flamenco flavor to my improvisations, I usually use the Phrygian mode. And finally, the Locrian mode takes the sad, mysterious Middle Eastern air of the Phrygian mode 
and makes it even darker with the use of the flat five an interval which all you metal heads out there are very much familiar with <laughs> so that's what the modes sound to me personally i recommend that you guys spend some time playing and experimenting with each mode and taking note of what each mode adds to your playing the sound the the feeling the mood that is being pulled out and being thrown out into the world through your guitar that way you have a more personal understanding of them with this video i now end my music theory for guitarists video series this whole series is designed to give you a firm and solid understanding of music theory basics based on the guitar and once thoroughly digested and understood it will help you grasp further intermediate and advanced music theory concepts. My future guitar theory lessons will be building upon everything that I have discussed in the Music Theory for Guitarist series. So keep the playlist link handy for future reference. If you enjoyed learning from my Music Theory for Guitarist series and would like to show your support and appreciation, I invite you to buy your own Practice Makes Perfecto t-shirt either through the YouTube merch shelf below this video or through my Threadless web store, perfectodecastro.threadless.com. And when you receive your shirt, don't forget to send me a photo so I can feature you in my videos, such as I have done for my friends right here. Well, there you have it. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up like, share it with all your friends, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Now go grab your guitar and hit the woodshed. You know the drill. Practice makes perfecto. Cheers. Cheers.